I think spoke pretty nicely. And I would like to request Ms. Michelle Daruwala from Delhi Public School East Bangalore to put her views. Over to you, Michelle. Thank you so much, sir, for giving us this opportunity. Uh, I'm Michelle Daruwala from Delhi Public School, Bangalore East. And um, I would just like to begin with a quote by saying that rise in your mind and you can rise in your world. From head boy to hedge funder to chancellor of the exchequer to the first British Asian prime minister of UK, Mr. Rishi Sunak has achieved it all. Mr. Sunak has become known as many things. Dishi Rishi to the tabloids one of the richest MPs in Westminster, the second youngest ever chancellor of the Exchequer presiding over 350 billion euros package to boost the economy and a former hedge funder whose profile has risen faster than stocks in a vaccine manufacturer. Amid the chaos of British politics, it's easy to get, forget how just how extraordinary the rise of Mr. Rishi Sunak has been. Mr. Sunak became an MP only five years back. And less than a year ago, he was just the most junior minister in the department for the local government. Today, the chancellor battling the coronavirus fallout is tipped not only as a future prime minister, but Britain's first Asian leader. The turning point in Mr. Sunak's life came at the end of primary school, when a hardworking boy from a striving middle-class immigrant family got a place to study at Winchester College. It would be a world away from a kitchen at Kuti's Brassier, Winchester boys even had a Victorian public school language of their own, in which bicycles were boggles and cigarettes were trusts. Very few in any of them had to earn waiting money, wait, waiting table for money during the summer months. Sunak was different to other sixth formers in Westchester. A lifelong long drinker, he wasn't distracted by the allure of the pubs. But there was something else that marked him out from the herd. He was, a, he was conservative in every sense, not only in his outlook and demeanor, but his religious attitudes too. He was a practicing Hindu who avoided thee. Mr. Sunak was one of the most smoothest talkers. His charm honed on calls to investors, getting them on board with whatever drastic moves the fund wanted to make. The kind of charm that prizes clarity and pursues people to part with their money, it worked. But hedge fund charm is designed to hide as much as it reveals. The atmosphere at PCI, the Children's Investment Fund, which he was part of, was buccaneering and bold. Today, Mr. Sunak takes his parliamentary oath to the Queen on the Hindu scripture, the Bhagavad Gita. But his political style is more materialistic. His mind works in Excel, said one city contemporary. But like all hedge funders, it all, it's always working in bed. And two biggest bets that Mr. Sunak had made in his career have paid off spectacularly, Brexit and Boris. David Cameron knew the gravity of his predicament when Sunak came out for the leave. He said that if we've lost Rishi, we've lost the future of the party. The same thing played out in reverse in June 2019 when Sunak came for Boris in times with two other MPs during the party leadership election. The story of Rishi Sunak was truly inspiring and it completely encapsulates the true meaning of the quote, if you were born to rise, you will learn for the stars, even if you have no wings. I'm really proud of Mr. Rishi Sunak today as an Indian, and I'm sure all of us are as proud as I am of him. Thank you so much.